Hi and welcome to How to F1 with me Brown202. In this video we're talking about a strategy in an F1 race and on the F1 game. What it is in its simplest form is the tyres used in a race and the number of stops that a team and driver does in the race. Before a race starts you may hear a commentator say we're expecting a one stop race. This is essentially how many times a car pits in a race. However the golden rule of strategy in F1 is that you have to use two sets of different compounds of tyres in a dry race. So if you were to start on the softs compound tyres and you were doing a one stop you would have to pit for either the medium compound tyre or the hard. If you started on a set of softs and then you pit for another set of softs you're committing yourself to a two stop strategy. F1 teams plan their race strategies right from the start of the race weekend all the way back in practice as they collect data from different tyre compounds by doing long runs in those practice sessions. Recently in F1 we've been seeing the top teams like Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull run the medium compound tyres in Q2 so that they can start the race on those compounds of tyres so that they can go deeper into the race and then pit for the hards so they don't have to touch the soft tyres which are at those Grand Prix were absolutely dreadful however when it comes to the race there's different factors that can change your chosen strategy these could be change in track temperature if the track is hotter or colder compared to previous track days this might impact the tyre life which might lead to the tyres degrading more quickly and you might struggle to get to your planned pit stop lap or force you down a Lewis Hamilton route in Monaco remember where you have to nurse the tyres that are dead to the end of the race. The track itself could impact tyre life for example a track like Russia will put less strain on the tyres than a track like Monaco that has high traction zones. On track battles also play a huge part. If you're battling someone, think for Stappen Hamilton back in Brazil, then you may try and do the undercut or the overcut to beat that certain driver, but we will talk about that in a different video. Other factors might be a crash that brings out the safety car and bunch of the field. D depending on the point in the range you might have already pitted and have a chance of losing out to the to those cars around you or maybe it's your lucky day and you're still needing to pit and you can pit and depending on the point you can maybe go on the hard and go to the end and go long or if it, there's only five or so laps to go pit for a set of the soft tyres and just absolutely blitz it to the end but if you're on lap 12 of the British Grand Prix and you're watching this video to find out what what you should do then the only thing I can say is pit now and go on to the set of the hards and go long but that's my advice that's what I would do in that situation but let me know what you'd do in that situation in the comments below would you pit or would you stay out let me know in the comments below slap a like on the video if you found this useful or maybe you've already followed what I've said and you've just won a race in that case you're welcome but I've been Brown202 and I'll see you on the track.